In this video, I'll be covering basic functions. Uh, so what is a function? Well, a function is a set of code that's used to accomplish something. And it doesn't accomplish something until you call it. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So to begin a function, what we need to do is we need to indicate that we want to create a function. And we do that with the F-U-N-C or func keyword, which specifies that this is actually going to be a function, not a variable or anything like that. And then we give our function a name. So in this case, I'm going to do print greeting. And what a function does is it actually can accept no parameters or multiple parameters. Um, in this case, I'm not going to have any parameters, so I'm just going to do some empty parentheses. And you always have to add parentheses whether you have something coming in or you don't. Now to make Swift happy, or our compiler happy, we have to do some curly brackets. And that should cancel out the errors. All right, so inside the curly brackets is where we put our set of code that we want to run. So in this case, what I want to do is I just want to do a print greeting. So I'm going to do print statement. I'm going to say, <clears throat> hello there. All right. And there we go. We have our very basic function. Now, in this case, this function is called a named closure because we gave it a name. Now, if you're wondering, okay, what are closures? Well, you can go over to my closure video where I explain what closures are. They are really this, almost the same thing as functions, except they don't have a name. <laughs> That's all you really need to know about the difference between a function and a closure, is that a function actually has a name, and uh, just a regular closure is an unnamed closure. So they do the same thing. They just have different means of doing it. <laughs> and again, if you have any questions, you can flip over to my closure video after this video so that you can see the difference between the two. All right, so you're wondering, okay, well, we have a print statement there. Why isn't it printing out? Well, unlike just typing out print hello there, which actually will run automatically. So as soon as we enter this in, the, the, print, the uh, console will automatically, or the compiler will automatically um, process the code. Um, in this case, it doesn't automatically process the code. The reason why is that we need to actually call this function. What I mean by call is we actually need to say print greeting. So we actually type in the name of the function, and then it will output hello there. I'll just add a, some punctuation here so you can see the difference between the two. All right, so prior I mentioned about these parentheses that they hold parameters. Now, what parameters are is basically an input. So really, all this is saying is a parameter equals input. So we actually put in some information, and then the function does some work on that information, and then outputs a result. So we again just do func to indicate a function. I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it greeting with name. And I'm going to do my parentheses, but instead of just closing the parentheses off like this, I'm actually going to uh, input um, a name for my parameter. So I'm going to call it name because I actually want to send in a person's name. And then I have to specify its type. So in this case, I'm going to do string, and I'm going to close parentheses, do a curly bracket, and then we get to work on this name. So again, I'm going to do my print statement. And I'm going to do hello there, backslash, parenthesis, and I'm going to put a name. So what I'm calling is this, this name here, the, the name of the parameter coming in. And then I'm going to do exclamation point. All right, so again, if I want this function to run, I have to call it. So I'm going to do greeting with name. And then I'm going to enter the name. So I'm going to say John. Why not? And then it will do work. And then you see it outputs, hello there, John. All right, so um, one thing I wanted to specify is, um, again, this is with parameter. And this is with not. Um, and another thing that this actually this example has is that it has no return value. So it's a void function. So if you ever hear a void function, basically what it means is a function that doesn't return anything. 
and you're saying, well, hey, it did return something because you put print, you printed hello there. Well, print, the print statement is actually a built-in function that Swift provides. So it allows you to actually output a string. So if we hold down the option key and hover over our print statement, we can see that function, it is a function. It's just a built-in function. That's why I was able to have an output from this void function. Now say if I didn't, um, I mean, there's, there's different things you can do with this. For example, say if I had a variable out here, let's say uh, bar number equals one, I could actually have this function do work on that variable. So say number plus equals two, so I'm adding two to the, the number that already exists there. What you will see is if we, we bring a number, we'll see that its value is still one, but inside of the function, the value is, two, is three. So you can see here it equals three. So just to show that, you know, you can do work inside of something if you want to. All right, <laughs> I hope that makes sense. So I covered um, void function and then also a little bit with parameters. So um, the next thing I want to show you is a function with a return value. Since I set up here that this function, the print greeting, doesn't have a return value that I actually use the built-in statement or built-in function to print out that statement, I will show you an example of a function that actually has a very clear return value. So let's create another function. So again, we call the FUNC or func keyword. And then I'm going to do say hello world. All right, so this time I'm not going to actually bring in a parameter. So I'm going to do my empty parentheses. Do my, um, actually, before I do my curly brackets, what I want to do is I want to specify that, hey, this function will return something. So I do an arrow, so it's hyphen, and then the little, I don't know what you call this, open alligator or closed alligator mouth. <laughs> So basically you want to make an arrow, and then I want to specify what the return value is going to be, um, or the type. In this case, I want it to be a string. And then I do my curly brackets. And now this time what I want to do is I want it to return something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, return, which is a keyword, and then the string that I want to return. So in this case, I want to say hello world. All right. So again, there's nothing happening because what did I not do? Well, I didn't call a function. So let's go ahead and call this function. So we just type in, say, hello world. And there you go. It outputs hello world out here. Well, what I want to do is I can actually put it in a print statement again, have a print down here in the console. And I just have to, oopsie, have to close that. And what you do is to print out hello world down here. This is exactly what I want to do. All right, so the next thing I want to show you is a function with a parameter and a return. So you can combine this. So again, just start out with func and then um, give it a name. So I'll do say hello greeting. And then I'm going to have something come in. So in this case, again, I want a person's name. I want to specify the type, which is a string. So that's the parameter name and its type. And then the arrow, which is hyphen and the bracket. I don't know, the carrot key. <laughs> Not sure exactly what that key is called, um, but it's basically the period <laughs> um, button. All right, so now I want to do string. This is my return type. Then I do the brackets, open and close bracket. And now I want to return because here I just want to show you that if you don't add the return, it will error out. It should give me an error. If we click on that, it, say, it will tell you missing a return in a function expected to return string. So again, you know, Swift, the compiler will let you know, hey, you said you want this function to be a return. Please put a return in there so it will basically kind of guide you 
as to what you need to do. So I put the return there. And again, we have another error. In this case, it's like, well, it's a non-void function. It should return a value. So again, this is a non-void function. So we need to return something. So in this case, I'm going to do hello. And then my, I'm going to bring in my parameter name of name. <laughs> and that should satisfy the error. And there we go. So let's try this one out. So we'll do say hello greeting or oopsie. Hello greeting. And then we enter our name. I'll do Joanne. <laughs> and what you do is should output hello Joanne. Now again, if I want to output this down here in my console, all I could do is do a print statement. Oopsie. <laughs> Can I do that again? Oh my goodness. Sorry. Let me hide that. And there we go, it should output um, hello Joanne down here, which is exactly what I wanted. All right, so in this video, I covered very basic function. Um, I really want to specify that this is for Swift 3, um, not Swift 2, uh, for various reasons. Um, if you are familiar with Swift 2, um, you realize that we actually did have to input the name of the parameter down here when we call a function. If you're totally new to Swift entirely, don't worry about it. This is the way it is. <laughs> but if you are familiar with my old videos with, for Swift 2, um, there is a little bit of difference. That's why I'm redoing this function video. All right, backtracking. In this video, I covered a very basic function, give you the um, functionality, uh, show you the difference between a named closure or a function. And this function is a void function. Basically, a void function means that it does not return anything. So a void function that does not return. Let me just do something. I also covered very, very briefly a function with a parameter. Um, basically, what we do is we bring in an input. In this case, I, I inputted a name of type string and then how to do some work. I also showed you a function with just a return value, so no parameters or inputs coming in, but outputting a string. And then I showed you a function with a parameter and a string. In my next video, I'll cover a function with multiple parameters and a return, and then a function with just one parameter and multiple returns. If you like this video, you know, please subscribe. If it's helped you in any way, you know, just hit the like button. I would appreciate it. All right. But all my friends, till next time.